Hello, and welcome to a Grab and Go put on by me, Christine, the teen librarian at the Jones Creek branch of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library System. Today, we will be making cute concrete planters inspired by an instructable by S'mori. Let's gather our supplies. You will need a two liter bottle with a mark at the top, at the end of the curve, and about one and a half inches to two inches below the curve. The bottles I am making already have a little cut in them so that you can get your pair of scissors in there because that is your next piece of equipment, scissors. You will also need a bag of concrete mix, a straw, some oil as a mold release, packing tape, paint, a paintbrush, a mixing stick, water, maybe a bowl, and some protective equipment. You don't want to get concrete on your skin or in your lungs, so have a mask and a pair of gloves. Let's get started. First, we're going to cut our two liter up. Put your scissors into the little cut and cut around the marked line. We're going to keep the bottom to use as our mixing container. That was a bit of a rough cut, but it's off and that's the important part. The hole here will be the hole at size at the top of your planter, so we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Not too much. Then you take your long strip, let it curl up, and stick it through that center hole, like that. Now we need to add tape around this edge to over the entirety of the bottom. This is the bottom. I've got my tape and I'm going to start adding pieces over this way. It's important to get the seal around the entire thing so don't skip any parts. There. Now I'm going to tape over this circle in the middle, but I'll need the straw to go through the middle as a drainage hole. To get that hole in the middle, I'm going to try stabbing with my pencil. That worked. Now I'll tape around the pencil, just a little bit. And I'll cut off all this extra straw that I don't need. All right, we have made our concrete mold. The concrete will get poured in on this side, and it will be this cute little dandy shape. Let's get out our cooking oil, and I'm just going to use my finger to coat all of the inside surfaces with oil so it's nice and slippery when we want to demold this. All right, there we go. All right, I am masked and gloved up. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the bottom of here. So it covers all the little flower petals at the bottom. And then 
time to put in the concrete. Let's give that a mix and see how it looks. Oh yes, more concrete mix. Remember, be scant with how much water you put in. You have a basically unlimited amount of water but you only have one bag of concrete mix. And you have about 20 to 30 minutes for this quick set stuff to set. All right, doesn't that look like concrete? It is. Let's get this into our mold. You wanna do smallish bits at a time so that you don't get any air bubbles. Let's Pack it in at that seam. All right, that's all my concrete in my mold. As you can see it down there, this will be, this will be our little plant planting hollow. Here's our drain hole. And here's where we'll paint our little cute face. But actually, I've got a bit of a curve here, and this is going to be the bottom of the pot. So I'm going to try and level that off. We have mixed, we have cast our concrete, and now we have to wait for it to dry. Let's remove our gloves safely, inside out, and put those in our empty two liter container. And now this goes for the trash. Please do not rinse out concrete down a drain that is a bad plan. I'll see you back here when my concrete is cured for the next step. And it's done. Let's turn that over and we're going to trim that tape off to unmold our concrete. Now that it's out of the plastic, We'll take out the straw in the middle and clean off any little bits of tape that got stuck in there. All right, we fought and we won. We have our beautiful concrete planter with drainage hole and inside area. So now it's time to decorate. I have black paint, I have a paintbrush, I have a pencil to draft my pattern. Let's go! I've drafted a little kawaii face on my planter in pencil, and now I'm going to paint it in. Of course, you don't have to paint a little face on. You can paint whatever you want it on. Now, after your paint has dried, 
you might consider something else. If you plant a fake plant in here, you're beautiful. You're good to go. If you want to try and use this for a real plant, you'll have to think about the fact that cements are high in alkaline, which will leach into the soil and may stunt the growth of your plant. The internet recommended to me that you soak your planter in a solution that is one gallon of water to one quarter of a cup of vinegar overnight to try and neutralize those alkalines. Let's add some rocks for drainage. Add my dirt. And there we go. This is how your final project could look. Thank you for your time. If you've enjoyed this activity, engage with us on social media and return to the library for more grab and go activities. Goodbye.